and city. As I explained it to you the other day, usually when I give you some problems, they are in random form. That means problem is continually changing. In order to avoid continual change of the problem, we may say copy and then go over there, paste the special and click on this one, two, three, and therefore those numbers will not change anymore. When I teach a complicated concept, I will paste it a special such that they will not change, right? But in this problem, it is not a complicated problem, so I leave them as random numbers. Therefore, as I hit uh, enter key, everything is changed because computations renew themselves. Stop me, please, whenever something is not clear to you. In few minutes, I am going to explain a little bit about the first three ch charts, and then uh, we will spend maybe five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, two, three, four, five minutes, I will explain the fourth chart, and uh, in 10 minutes, you recreate that fourth chart. So the first one is, I have some numbers here, and I want to represent it. This is not a X, Y numbers. These are just X numbers or Y numbers. I just have one column of data, and I want to represent that column of data. So I go here, I click on this cell, shift, control, down. That will mark all my numbers. And then I go and say, insert chart and then I will select this line chart and I enter it. Okay. So this is a chart I just created and as my data changes this chart also changes. Look at the horizontal axis on the horizontal axis, it is written one, two, three, four, five, six, and so on and so forth. That means Excel chart has considered those numbers as the first number, second number, third number, and fourth number. Sometimes we don't like this one, two, three, four, five. For example, we want to replace these numbers here. We want to replace one, two, three, four, five by these numbers. Or for example, we want to put some text in front of each of those numbers. In this case, I will go to this chart, right click, and I say select data. When I select data, this is horizontal line. I say edit. Then it tells me, okay, I took one, two, three, four, five over there. What do you want me to replace this one, two, three, four, five with? I say replace these numbers. Okay? Okay? And then those numbers will be there. Sometimes, these numbers are mixed together, and I want to a little bit improve the situation. In that case, I say control one, format comes up. Some sort of formatting comes up, and in those uh, formatting, Here I see nothing. Let me see here. Okay. 
And here it allows me to change the direction of those numbers and make them a little bit readable. You see, these numbers here at the bottom, they a little bit change. Now they have a 48 degree uh, slope. I may make it 90 degree. 90. It will be like this if you want to change. So this is regarding the chart. If I want to put a title over there, I go here and say, this is type. Okay, and then that will become the title of chart. Let me go, so we learned this one this chart, which <clears throat> where we just see one, two, three, four, and we saw another version of the same chart when we replace those one, two, three, four by something else. That was here when we went and we changed those numbers by the numbers that we had here. Do not forget, this is not a two-dimensional chart. This chart does not understand the relationship between what is in column one and what is in column two, except matching them. They say these two are related each other, but as long as the measurement is concerned, it doesn't understand the measures on x direction. What is in the first column here, indeed it is nothing. It is just name. It is not x. If these numbers were x and y, then I should have used another chart insert, scatter chart, and then I select this one. Now, the chart understand that on x direction, we have an x value, on y direction, we have a y value. For example, if I go here and I type equal to integer, 100 times rand, for example. And if I copy it down, these numbers are mixed, mixed up. You see, because it considers X and Y as a relationship, for example, I go here, right click, I say, change chart type, and then I go to scatter graph, and I select this one, which is more reasonable here, and that is the relationship between those numbers. The first one was just a line chart. X was a name over there, nothing else. The second one was a scatter chart. X is a number, not just a name. So if I go in the first chart, if I go here, let me go back to one version of the first chart which I had. If I go here, if I create this line chart, here, insert line, this one. That is what I have entered. Now I go and click on it and I say select data, and I go and edit uh, the X dimension, and I go over there, control shift down, okay, and okay, and this is the chart I have. Look, this is 13, this is 71, this is 23. 
but in the other one those numbers those x's had meaning look at here this is the chart on the right which is line this is the chart on the left which is scatter look at here when I go and change the numbers this the shape of the curve Having said that, we have these three charts. I delete them, and I delete this one, and I delete this one, and I delete this one. Now my question for you is this. Look at this chart. Look at this chart here, okay? Let me delete this nothing, delete, okay. Now, you go to your Excel sheet and try to see if you can find it out how I, can, I have created this graph. Let me show you what this graph is. This graph shows these numbers, okay? First shows the smallest one, then the largest. At the end, it will show the largest one. Also, it shows mode, mean, and median in these points. Let me change it, change it, change it. You see these things are changing. My question for you, my friends, is if we learned the line chart, and if we have learned scatter graph, spend some time, communicate with the person who is sitting by you, and check if you by yourself can create a graph similar to what I have created here. The best way to do is to copy this page in another page, delete everything except column A and then try to recreate the graph that I have uh, recreated, uh, that I have created. You can talk to each other if you like and you can also come to me and ask questions or uh, ask me to come to your station and answer your question over there.